Here we are with Jonathan Baker. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Jonathan. Well, as you can see, it's my annual Oscar party. I'm very excited that Oscars are back this year. Last year's Oscar just was heartbreaking and to see everything come to life again, you know, warms my heart. I, I just, I love Hollywood and I love making movies. I love telling stories. I love everything about this night because it celebrates everybody in the audience and it's amazing how many talented people, who cares if one wins? It takes so many people to be talented, to make something amazing. And I do that every single day of my life. So when this day comes, I think everybody's secretly celebrating themselves. And what's your vision for tonight's party, Jonathan? Well, I mean, tonight's theme is Oscar as a woman. So I'm hoping that we have some great speeches. I'm hoping that everybody who shows up to the party um, really takes with them uh, what's happening in Ukraine, uh, where we are today in relation to uh, movies versus streaming. I, I'm, I'm, you know, there's a big difference between watching something at home and watching it on a big screen. And we have different calibers of filmmaking, even though we're all telling the same story. And the ones that love the silver screen are the ones that are celebrating tonight. And uh, I'm really excited after three years and COVID that we are back and we are doing something so amazing by having the Oscars show up as the Oscars once again. And I hear um, this home used to be owned by Warren Beatty and Annette Benning. So yeah. why do you think this is the Baker Manor, which is what it's known as right now? Why is this maybe the perfect place for this party? Wow, so there's only two people that lived in this house, Warren Beatty and Annette Benning, and then myself um, and my family. Uh, I, I always think, if these walls could speak, how many dignitaries, studio heads, movie stars, um, the tradition of yesteryear I brought forward and who we are today is like Art Deco with a twist, modernizing what was yesteryear that we all loved. And the chrome that you'll see when you get inside is all basically pulling together what I believe is a love for Hollywood, a love for telling stories, and this house, when it doesn't have people in it, it doesn't have people talking and, and, and mingling, it's a little empty because it needs to tell its own story. And Warren and Annette are part of that story. From the Warren Beatty Theater all the way down to the bones of Baker Manor. Wonderful. And can you tell us about some of your projects that you have coming up? So I have been working um, for the last two years, um, I finished a Mel Gibson movie. Uh, we finished um, an Al Pacino movie, which is pretty good. COVID hit, uh, and everything took a stop. And now we're starting to cast again. Uh, I do documentaries, uh, but most important, I care about feature films. I care about telling a story, showing character development, and taking the audience from one place to another in a two hour block and that doesn't really happen anymore. So um, hopefully uh, when my next film comes out in the late summer, um, people will appreciate that I'm trying to build the momentum of telling a story inside of a movie rather than just a television show. I love streamers and I love limited series. I think modern movies need to take uh, a hint from the streamers and the limited series and we need to figure out a way to take that and bring that forward into uh, the theater into the big screen um, and we haven't done that yet but I'm working on it so um, it's wonderful to hear actually yeah. that's great I have ideas you know just like I, I you know I look at the Oscars and every year I hope that somebody does it better than the last and you never know and you know so and who are some of your Oscar picks this year? Did you want to well, share? Well, who are my picks or who do I think is going to win? It's always, <laughs> it's always different. So I thought Nightmare Alley was my favorite movie of the year. I thought the production design was unbelievable. It was some of the best production design I've seen in probably the last 15 years. It blew me away. I, um, the acting was amazing. Kate um, Blanchett, she was great. Um, 
Uh, the idea of Carney brought forward was amazing. Um, and all of the acting from the beginning to the end was just spectacular. Um, so um, I thought Belfast was unbelievable. Uh, and I loved the story through the boy's eyes. Um, I was not a big fan of Power of the Dog. Um, I thought it looked beautiful, it felt beautiful. Um, I hope that it doesn't win. Uh, but uh, I didn't like Dune. And I loved Don't Look Up, loved it. Thought it was original, hoped that it's great. I didn't like Liquid Pizza. I didn't like it at all. I didn't like the acting, the directing. I didn't like any of it. Um, so, as you can see, I'm split. I have Belfast, I have Nightmare Alley, um, and uh, you know, when you see something come together that's so amazing, you, your heart sings. And so, there is no loser. So, um, as much as I really do have an opinion about what I see and what I like and what I don't like, it still takes an amazing amount of talent for anything to show up and for us to critique it. And, you know, um, it, it's hard. Directing is one of the hardest things I've ever done. So, uh, easy to produce, easier to write, great to have an imagination, but, uh, when it comes to putting it in a box, you really have to respect the people that have done it over and over. And as I always said, as great as Steven Spielberg is, every once in a while he fails. That's how hard it is. Right. So. Right. Um, and lastly, where can people find you on social media? JonathanBaker.com. Uh, that will spread you to my press, my social media, you know, all of my projects that I have going on present and past. Well, thank you so much. I know everyone's so excited that you're hosting this party, and I know yeah. you're really hectic, and thank you for taking the time. It's going to be great. Sienna, come here. So I just want to introduce Sienna. So Sienna, oh. she's been in every film that I've made. Oh, hi, and Sienna. Today is her today is her 10th birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Sienna. Thank you. So, and she is a great actress, and she is a hard worker, and when you see her in the films that I do, Mm, it's amazing that she doesn't want to do this full time. So, so do you like acting, Sienna? Yeah, I like it for like the most part. Oh. I like it. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. And today is your tenth birthday on Oscar Day. That's yeah. wonderful. So we're gonna have a double celebration. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Honestly. Yeah. And um, I love your butterfly. Thank that you. is a great theme. Are, do you love butterflies? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Oh, great. And so, do you think you're going to do more acting in the future? I think in the future I will, yeah. Yeah? What other things do you like? Um, I like to skate. Oh, ice skate or Like skate? skating, like with a skateboard. Oh! Yeah. That's really great. I love skateboarding as well. That's great. Well, good for you. You look beautiful. Thank I love you. your outfit. I love your boots. So, after this interview, we're going to get a whole bunch of photos of you, okay? Okay. okay. Thank, thank you so you. much. Yeah, thank you. So here we are at this beautiful mansion. I can't wait to see it. It's been one of my dreams to see the inside of this house. And I'm here with my girlfriend, Allison. So we're going to really enjoy the tour of the house. Oh, wonderful. So um, do you have any favorite picks for tonight for Oscars? No, I'm keeping myself strictly, strictly neutral. I'm just going to wait and enjoy everything. I've seen almost everything. I am um, the young man in the movie with Benedict Cumberbatch. I thought for supporting actor, I thought he was extraordinary. And otherwise, I'm just keep my lips zipped. Oh, great. And um, where can people find you on social media? They can find me under Miss Lagerfeld, MS Lagerfeld. Um, they can find me under Sweet Magnolias, my show. And they can find me um, both on Twitter and Instagram. Oh, great. Too old for TikTok. <laughs> Well, I think there's just new ones coming out. It's hard to keep I know, up. I know, right? I know, I know. Right, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So here we are with the Mr. Vincent DePaul. How Hi. you doing? I'm really happy to be here, Jackie, in such a beautiful Oscar Sunday. The weather is impeccable. Yeah, isn't it wonderful? Yeah. And we are at this amazing, the Jonathan Baker estate. Like, uh, how lucky are we? Or man, It's actually, um, yeah, it's called the Baker Manor. How are you feeling? I feel great. I was driving up Mulholland Drive 
seeing all the beautiful houses and then coming upon this beautiful estate. It's just lovely. Isn't it? Yes. So tell us what projects you're working on, Vincent. Uh, so first of all, I'm so happy. I just wrapped on the feature film Out of Order, directed by Guy Jacobson, and I co-star with Brooke Shields, Brandon Routh, <laughs> Sam Huntington, uh, Luis Guzman, the list goes on. It's just everyone. They're just so dynamic. And we shot in Staten Island. It was my first time into Staten Island. So I was excited to do that. It's a wonderful rom-com. It's kind of Mrs. Doubtfire meets Tootsie meets uh, a legal drama comedy. So it's a lot, of, a lot of different things on it. And I'm so happy to work with Ice and Robbins again, the producer who did the movie Tesla that won at Sundance. And uh, happy that we're reuniting on this feature film. That's wonderful. Thank you. And um, do you have any Oscar favorite picks for tonight or just going to enjoy the show? No real favorites? What are you thinking? Oh my gosh. So there's so many great Oscar movies this year. Uh, some that were not nominated that I'm a little bit disappointed with. I really wanted Jennifer Hutz to be nominated for the Aretha Franklin story. I thought her portrayal was amazing. Uh, the first Oscar movie that I ever was in was called The Artist that won the Academy Award. And that was a silent black and white film and it was the first of its kind to ever win an Academy Award. And I remember um, seeing on Facebook, it's like, Vincent, who? what's your pick? Because you were in an Oscar winning film. And I said, I have so many picks because they're all very good this year. And I'm so honored um, to have witnessed them and have enjoyed the screenings of CODA, which is a wonderful story and really celebrates people that may not have, you know, the ability to um, hear, but yet we hear them and we feel them and they're so emotional. And I also loved, um, gosh, Gosh, Dune, I, I, they're, they were all very, very good. I have no specific one that I want to win. I wish they all could take home the gold. Yeah, that's wonderful. Thank so you. where can we find you on social media, Vincent? Uh, social media, so uh, definitely hashtag VincentDePaul12. You can go to imdb.com and you can see all the different films that are happening. And um, yeah, pretty much that's it. Great. Well, thank you for taking the time. Have a great evening. Thank you, everyone, and I hope everyone has an amazing Oscar Sunday. Take care. Okay, so Sue, here we are at the Baker Manor on an amazing Oscar night. How are you feeling? I'm feeling uh, excited, really excited about this weekend. So, yeah, it's yeah. been quite eventful. Yeah, you had the panel yesterday, Oscars today. So do you have any favorites for Oscars for tonight? Uh, you know, I, I'm, I lean towards the women directors and, the, you know, the women producers and stuff. So I'm always in their favor. Yep. Oh, I heard Coda is going to be a, a, a top movie. Yeah, I think so. So tell us about your projects coming up. All right. Well, I've got uh, an animation project that I'm starting on called After the Question. And we're working with a Canadian company that is we're going to partner with. So I've got that. I just finished a historical documentary that we premiered a few uh, months ago. Did two music videos in the past couple of months. So got projects and all kinds of parts of development, pre-production. And, and, and that's just how it goes with a creative. Yeah, absolutely. So where can people find you on social media? Uh, SueVickery.com is my website, and all my links are on there. So I'm on Instagram, and I'm on uh, Facebook, and all the good social media. Great. Well, have a wonderful evening. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you very much. So here we are at the Baker Manor for Oscar night. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I, I'm, I'm excited about the, you know, tonight's Oscars, of course, but I'm also excited about seeing it here because he has a great theater. And uh, I've been here before, and it's, it's, uh, it's, it, I'm looking forward to watching it in that great theater. It's one of the best theaters I've ever I've ever seen in someone's house. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. yeah, that's really great. It's almost like you're in the regular theater. Yeah, better. He's got a really good theater. Oh, it's wonderful. really cool, yeah. Do you have any picks for tonight, or just kind of enjoying the evening? No big uh, picks? I, I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm not really uh, making any picks this year, because I've seen everything, and I'm, just, I'm confused. I don't know what's going to win. I, I, I haven't seen Coda, I have to admit, so... That's, that'll probably wind up winning. I haven't seen it, but uh, other than that, a lot, I enjoyed a lot of the films this year. Great. Yeah. Do you have any projects coming up, or are you just kind of taking it easy for the year? Or how's that going? <laughs> it's going pretty good. We have a, a okay. We, we did a film called Seven Days to Vegas. When I want to say we, my brother Vince Van Patten, and I, and it came out, and now we're going to do a remake of that. It's a, a, a film about gamblers and the craziness that goes on with, with gamblers, and it's. The first one turned out great, so that's why we're doing another one. And do you guys still have um, the pet company in the family? We, we're, okay, so it's still around. Um, 
we kind of it kind of sold to the bigger companies. It went away. So, oh, okay. but it's still Dick Van Patten's Natural Balance Pet Food. So it's it's still good food. Yeah, it is. And yeah. It's wonderful that you guys started that. That your dad started that. Yeah, it was all for the right reasons, you know. Because back in, in, a while back, the pet food wasn't that great. Right. And so the whole idea was to find good food for. For you know your family, your you know, your pets are like your family. They are. So that's what. And where can we find you on social media? Uh, Jimmy Van Patten. Jimmy Van Patten. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. <laughs> okay. Thank, thank you. you. Here we are at the Baker Manor with Medi and Dustin. How are you guys doing? Good. Thank you. And you? Good to see you. It's, it's been, been a while. Yeah, it's been a while for sure. So how's it going? Um, very good. We actually are coming out with a music video this summer. Remember last time you yeah, were at the yeah. at the uh, 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 exactly. premiere? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, and also, go ahead, Dustin. Oh, and also, uh, I don't know if we've told you, but we are in Bruce Willis's new movie that's going to be coming out this year, Die Like Lovers, and we each have our own scene. Oh, what's it called? Die Like Lovers. Oh, that's, yes, yes, <laughs> that's yes. so perfect. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, yes. We want to have like a uh, double celebration. Yes. <laughs> We are not exactly sure what date, but uh, apparently it's, yeah, you know. it, it's coming out yes. this year. We, we filmed our, our scenes uh, uh, last January or February? No, 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 it's the summer, right before we wa I, went, I walked Paris Fashion Week. I remember. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it was, some, some it was, it was a good... Yes, yes. We so busy. It's, it's in post-production and it should be out uh, this year. Oh, that's wonderful, you guys. Yes. Thank Great. you. Thank you. And um, so where can people find you guys on social media? So uh, MediM on Facebook and Medi.EM on Instagram. And I'm Dustin Quick on Facebook, Instagram, Dustin Quick Femme on Twitter. And uh, we just want to say thank you all, everybody here tonight. And we're so excited to be celebrating the Oscars with you. And we look forward to celebrating you our future projects this year. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have any uh, favorite picks? You know, we were thinking about that on the way here. We've watched about half of the best pictures. So of that half so far, I'm really loving Belfast. I don't know yes. that it's necessarily going to be the one that will win, but it's definitely the one that has emotionally uh, hooked my heart. and. Uh, yeah, and funny enough, we're only halfway through that one, yes. so uh, and we enjoyed it. We really yeah, enjoyed we really, it. Yeah, the only reason we, we couldn't finish it is uh, I had we had so many Oscar events this week and, and Fashion Week uh, from the week before, so we have to so, finish so our homework when we get back home. <laughs> yes, yes, we do. We have to. <laughs> well, have a great evening tonight, and Thank see you guys you. soon. It was Thank a pleasure you so to much. see you. Thank yeah, you. Nice Thank you. you. So here we are at this amazing event. Uh, at the Baker Manor. So tell us how you're feeling on Oscar night. Uh, well, super happy because for all the people that are nominated and uh, just, uh, uh, you know, expecting tonight to have some of the best uh, acts, really seeing who's going to win. Yes, absolutely. And um, you're working on some projects. You want to tell us a little bit about them? Well, there's a project that I'm working along with World Vision. World Vision is an organization that is um, in 100 countries. It's a children's uh, project. We're building a water well. And I also have a women's foundation called Mujer de Fe. So if somebody wants to know a little more, they can go to my social uh, media, Paulina Gear and Music. Oh, great. Thank That's you. wonderful. And um, did you want Pablo, or we'll we'll get him a little bit later in the evening? Yeah, maybe you'll get him. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, Thank we'll you. catch him later in the evening. Thank you, Thank you Pauline. Thank Have you. A great you too. Thank you. So, Casey, here we are at the beautiful Baker Manor for this wonderful Oscar party. Mm -hmm. Do you have any favorites tonight? Any favorite picks, or just kind of enjoying the evening? Just enjoying the evening. I'm and for a ride. I really don't know what I'm getting into <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> so, tell us a little bit about what you do. Um, I'm a director. I'm working on a fashion film right now. It's kind of abstract. It's a bit, um, it's pretty artsy. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. I love your dress, actually, Thank and you. your earrings beautiful. Thank you. Uh, so, um, where could we find you on social media? Um, my Instagram is Casey underscore, C, C I S E Y underscore per, P U H R. My work page for all my fashion films and stuff like that is laser wolf l-a-y-z-e-r underscore wolf oh i love that that's a great name. thank you so have a great evening and thank you, you for too. taking the time thank you hi pablo hello how are you good how are you doing tonight i'm doing great uh thank you it's a really uh nice uh, time to be here you know yeah. uh, thanks for the invitation yeah oscar night how exciting we're all outside it's wonderful Oscar night is beautiful uh, with a lot of expectation, a lot of uh, good projects and uh, good nominations, yes. 
Do you have any favorites or you're just sort of hanging out tonight? I'm hanging out tonight, really. You yeah. know. They're all winners. They are all winners. That's the So uh, tell us about some of your projects. Uh, I'm doing several independent work right now, uh, but also I'm uh, working on with the uh, most uh, prominent uh, Latin artist nowadays, Marco Antonio Solis. We're finishing an album, so that's exciting. Uh, probably by the end of the year, we, you'll see some uh, new projects from uh, from him. Oh, that's great! And working on some uh, one movie coming up for uh, December as, as well. Oh, so you're doing a, the music for that? Uh, me and my wife are doing the music, working on the music, uh, the all the uh, the songs, the music, the soundtrack, which is uh, which is very nice. Yeah, oh, that'll work. And uh, you're on social media a little bit, yes. Um, I'm a little bit. I'm, I'm not very knowledgeable. My wife takes care of that, but I am on social media, yes. And, and Pablo, Aguirre, Pablo Aguirre Music. Oh, great. Okay. Yes. Well, have a wonderful evening, and Thank thanks for taking much. the time. Thank you. It's a pleasure and honor to be here. Thank you. Thank you. So, Larry, here we are on Oscar night at this beautiful Baker Manor. Yeah, it's beautiful, gorgeous. Beautiful day. Yeah, gorgeous day, right? I know. LA, always nice. I know. Right. So, uh, tell us how you're feeling tonight. Oh, well, what do I I feel great, but I'm not nominated, so what do I care? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, do you have any Oscar favorite picks tonight? You know, I just think it's great we're doing it. We're outside, it's back, it doesn't matter who wins, we're all, we all win. Yeah, very happy. Yeah. Do you have any projects you want to talk about right now? Not yet. Soon. Soon. Okay. Yep. Okay, great. And uh, where can we find you on social media? Uh, you know, I'm not very much on social media, but you can look at my company, thresholdentertainment.com, or I'm at um, Larry.Kazanoff on Instagram. Oh, great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. I love your outfit. Thank you, thank you. So uh, tell us how you're feeling tonight at this beautiful Baker Manor on Oscar night. I know. I mean, well, first of all, it's great to see old friends and meet new friends. And Oscar night's always a great excuse to get dressed up and really celebrate Hollywood's glamour at its best. Yeah, and um, do you have any projects that you're working on right now? Uh, we are currently, um, we have, I have a beauty brand called Ready, Set, Jet that's all about empowering women. So we're really excited to support women in film and see so many women coming out and just really representing what it means to be, you know, a strong, powerful director, actress, you know, all of that. So um, our brand's Ready, Set, Jet, and we uh, provide products that are all professionally made as well as, you know, we're really excited to be using part of the proceeds to skill disenfranchised girls to give them also the opportunity to step into their own power and become job seeker, job creators versus job seekers. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And so where can um, people find your products as well as yourself? Yeah, uh, readysetjetofficial.com. Um, we are 95% female funded, so we are very pro-women. And you can find me at Shalini Badera on Instagram or shalinisworld.com online. Oh, great. Well, thank you for taking the time. Thank you look you. beautiful. Have a great time. Thank you. Thank you so much. So here we are at this amazing event at the Jonathan Baker Estate. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. How are you? Good, thank you. Good. So uh, tell us a little bit about what you've been up to, project-wise. Uh, just writing all the time. A couple projects at Amazon and one going into production. So. Oh, great. Yeah. And uh, do you have any favorite Oscar picks for tonight? You know, not really. No, I guess Year of the Dog I enjoyed. So, oh, yeah, I enjoyed Coda. Oh, Sweet. Yeah. And um, and uh, where can people find you on social media? Um, I'm on Instagram. I don't actually even know my handle. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Chloe King eight five six nine. Oh great. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for taking the time. Thank you. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, oh, well, I'm GJ Ector and Camp. I'm a filmmaker, basically. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's enough. So, are you have any Oscar picks for tonight? I do actually. I'm rooting for Power of the Dog, and I got to tell you why. The other day, I got picked up in an Uber by an Australian Uber driver who looked like a very large, scary gangster, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm an actor. I was in this movie where I played a big, scary gangster, and my son actually is uh, being nominated for this Oscar movie." And it turned out he hadn't made it up. It was really the dad of the kid, the Australian kid who's in that film. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So where can we find you on social media? I'm on Twitter. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. GJ Ector and Camp at Twitter. Oh, that's my name, GJ Ector and Camp. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for taking the time. Thank you. 
So, Dr. J, here we are at this amazing Baker Manor on Oscar night. How are you feeling? Great. Fantastic. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So, um, tell us a little bit about your products, Dr. J. Well, our company is, um, is three company um, in the umbrella of Quick Brand, and Quick Brand is a manufacturing um, PPE company for the last three years. We make disinfectant wipes and we make um, anything that's related to um, COVID. So right now we have a 18 patent ingredient product called protocaturic acid, all natural. It um, um, belongs to Dr. Lanny Johnson. He's my um, partner. And the wonderful things about that is that it can help protect you from COVID for up to 24 hours. So at least now I can be able to go to this event and feel safe because I have the product to protect myself. So hopefully this will be worldwide so that a lot of people can benefit from this wonderful product that Dr. Lanny Johnson have spent 15 years of his life discovering it um, due to his passion for his patient. He's an orthopedic surgeon. Oh, yeah, no, that's wonderful and just what we need right now for sure. Right, right. So do you have any uh, Oscar picks tonight or you're just excited to be here? I'm excited to be here and I see there's some name that I recognize. So uh, I'll, I'll be uh, rooting for um, Will Smith and Denzel Washington. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, well, um, where can people find you on social media? Well, um, Instagram, uh, QYK or DRJS Natural. Uh, or Facebook. Oh, great. Well, thank you for taking the time. Thank you for having me. So here we are with Anna. How are you doing tonight, Oscar um, night, at amazing. this beautiful estate? Amazing, amazing, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so tell us, um, what, uh, any Oscar picks, what are you thinking for tonight? Um, I, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't thinking yet, I was cold. <laughs> uh, but um, if you give me a moment to think about uh, Year of the Dog, Jane, Jane uh, Campion, um, I love her. I think she's an amazing director. Oh, wonderful. So, and she's a female director. So. Yes. Yeah. I love your outfit tonight. I think Thank it's, you. Uh, you always have amazing outfits. I think this is like my top two. I love this really? one. Thank yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, Thank I really you. love it. Thank you. So tell us about your film that you're working on right now almost done out here yes almost done galaxy 360 a woman's playground and it takes place in 2195 women rule the world men dream of getting married and it takes place over a male beauty pageant and uh, it's almost going to be done very soon i'm in post and soon it will be birthed into the world yes that's exciting yeah so um where can people find you on social media Anna Fishbein official on Facebook and Anna Fishbein on Instagram and Galaxy 360 movie. Please follow us. Wonderful. Yes. Well, we hope you have a wonderful evening tonight. Talk Thank to you, you so soon. much, Jackie. Thank you. Thank you. Great to see you. Nice. So, tell us your name. Uh, Mike Burns. And Mike, you were at this amazing uh, manor tonight, right? Yeah. Baker Manor for this wonderful Oscar party. Yeah. How are you feeling? Really good. Really good. I'm happy to be here. Jonathan's been an old friend. We produced uh, some movies together in the past, and uh, it's just good to be here in the beautiful house. I was here when it was down to the studs, and it's really come a long way since, since then. So yeah. And and um, do you have any Oscar picks for tonight? Any favorites, or how are you feeling? Or um, you know, I I need to catch up on some of the on some of them, but I did really uh, enjoy Power of the Dog. I thought that was really good. Uh, it was an excellent movie, and um, yeah, that was really enjoyable. Um, and I, uh, I actually loved the Henderson's, is it Henderson's movie, the animated movie that was yes. unreal, unreal effects and, and, and uh, that was a really breakthrough uh, thing. I really hope that they win something. They should, they deserve it. Yeah. And do you have any projects going on right now? Or? Well, I just completed a, um, a feature film with Bruce Willis that'll be released in July, in July 15th called Wrong Place. And uh, my previous, this is my second film with Bruce. Uh, the one previous to that is called Out of Death, and that stars Jamie King. Um, I should say that uh, Ashley Green is stars in uh, the movie that I'm doing right now with Bruce, and uh, she's an amazing actress. Uh, she's he's easy to work with, very talented. They're both just amazing talents, and I love that I've been able to make movies where we have, you know, a female lead 
in the role uh, where the, the hero is actually a woman. I think that's a really cool thing and, and a, a nice shift to see in movies. And, you know, nothing better than having Bruce Willis as your, you know, supporting man. Oh, I love Bruce Willis. That's wonderful. Yeah. So where can we find you on social media? Uh, it's just the Mike Burns on Instagram. And uh, I think it's just Mike Burns on, on Facebook. But I'm not a very social guy. <laughs> You, you're, 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 you're a social guy, but not maybe as social media, right? That, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I have my moments, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, I'm here, right? You are. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Mike. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So, Alexandra, tell Hello. us, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm an actress since a child, and now writer director as well. And I just love tonight. It's always been my favorite night of the year, more than Christmas since I'm like five. So I always come out to celebrate and have a good time. Well, love your dress. Is Thank that? You. Um, it's beautiful. This is actually a Ukrainian designer, and all of the proceeds went to help them out over there. It's called Gasanova. Wow. Yeah, so beautiful, right? Oh, this designer does such an amazing job. All crystals and a lot of just very feminine, classic styles. So I was so happy to wear it today. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And it's great that it's going to Ukraine, some of the proceeds. Yes, yeah. yeah. When I was first picking out what I was going to wear tonight, it was the first thing I thought of. I said, well, where can we find a Ukrainian designer? And my friend just knew exactly where to go. So it worked out really easy. That's wonderful. And um, what projects do you have coming up? Well, I have a lot of stuff coming up. I just wrote um, eight children's books that we're turning into a series for kids, which is uh, really exciting because I love helping to sort of grow the younger generations. And um, I'm also hosting this um, film festival for children where all the children come and they put together their own films so that's sort of like the biggest project I'm doing right now and then I have a couple indie films that are going through the festival circuits one of them will be at the Cannes Film Festival this year with um, I don't know if they want me to talk about it yet so it's kind of still hush hush and we've been selling some films though like my team and I in Hong Kong and um, my last movie is on Netflix called Spencer Confidential. And that we did, it came out like right in the middle of the pandemic. And since then I just started shooting again and getting back to it. Oh, that's great. Where can we find you on social media? Oh, at Taste the Vino. Like Taste the Rainbow, but Taste the Vino. I love it. Yes. Well, have a great time tonight. Thank you. Sure. So Erica, here we are at Oscar night and you are the Oscar woman right I know like your good luck charm tonight yeah well hopefully every day but I think tonight specifically yes so tell us about this a little bit uh, we did the shoot a couple of weeks ago and I think spiritually psychologically on so many other levels I think as a creatives we all sort of you know it's like a final destination almost to so many of us so Oscar has never been a woman has it and I thought to be the actual Oscar there for other artists, it was so fun. And we did this with the lady who has actually an Oscar uh, for body paints. Heywon was the one who made me look this way. So it was a very special day. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, here we are at the Baker Manor. Jonathan Baker is hosting this amazing Oscar party. It must be so exciting and mm -hmm. hopefully... Uh, what, what Do you have any favorite Oscar picks for tonight? Um, no, I am kind of rooting there for all of them. Oh, okay. There are so many of them that I would like to win and there are quite a few favorites that are nominated for the same thing. So I'm just going to hold my... And, um, and do you have any projects that are upcoming? Sure, I actually have a project who has been submitted to Cannes Film Festival and now any day now we should hear back if we are going, which I think we're going, with the Reverend and Mrs. Simpson. There is my horror film that is in cinemas at the moment. Um, it's called The Long Night. And there are quite a few more projects coming out this summer. Well, that's great. And where can people find you on social media? Um, the best one probably is Instagram, and it would be Erica Stas. Please connect to me. I'd love to be friends with new people. Great. So let's hold up one more time for the camera that beautiful photo of you as the Thank Oscar. You and uh, have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Have
Uh, excited to be here. I've known Jonathan for many years and always happy to support and be part of his world. Oh, great. Do you have any Oscar favorites this evening? Uh, I'm torn. I saw The Power of the Dog and I struggled with it, but I think it's going to win. And other than that, um, no. no. <laughs> and uh, do you have any uh, projects you're working on that you'd like to share? Uh, in the film, we're trying to put together a little TV show, something uh, centered around tennis, because I am a tennis pro, and that's been my whole life. And that's why Jonathan and I go back probably, I'll be humble and say 30 years. Yeah, 30 years. 30 years. And, and um, where can we find you on social media? At Tony Instagram. At Tony Instagram. That's clever. Right? That's wonderful. And my friend said, you're missing something. So he said, uh, my last name's Graham, and so it's at Tony Instagram. Brilliant. With G-R-A-H-A-M, Insta. Great. Love your outfit. Thank you for taking the time. Absolutely. Always love being here with for Jonathan. Thank you. So uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Josie Goldberg, and um, well, now since the Russian-Ukrainian thing is going on, so my mom is from Moscow, my dad is from Ukraine, but uh, my parents were um, came over here about 30 years ago on um, refugee status because you know we're Jewish, so uh, it's a, like a big deal what's going on. So I've been hearing from my Russian friends and Ukrainian friends, and you know now it's like you can't say anything because between Trump and politics and Black Lives Matters, you say something, you're going to get canceled. So you know, and today I'm just like you know thinking. What can you say to like keep the peace? But I can just say that um, very sad what's going on with uh, Russia and Ukraine and all those innocent lives. You know, uh, when people are dying, it's just uh, it's a big deal in the Russian community right now, Ukrainian or whatever. You know, so very sad though. You know. Yeah, definitely. And um, what projects are you working on? What do you do? Well, currently I'm a real estate agent and I'm studying for my broker's test. I've uh, lost my mind, but I'm gonna be a broker soon. But um, I'm still focusing on um, you know my brand I have a brand called spoiled and entitled and um, I own the licensing for that so between that and real estate and you know I'm still hoping to get on a union scripted TV show because I still want to earn the pension and the benefits you know I'm 39 years old and you know life happens differently for everybody and um, my goal would be just to book a five and underline on a scripted TV show so I'm working on that trying to get slimmer because you know for scripted TV for some reason they like people to be a little bit thinner in reality TV you can kind of be big bigger bigger than life but in scripted so yeah that's kind of what we're working on my mind body and soul and being politically correct because i have a problem with that you know that's great <laughs> well thank you for taking thank the you time so much. okay thank you. so here we are at the jonathan baker estate at this amazing oscar party tell us a little bit about it oh so jonathan approached us to partner with indie entertainment media and french riviera fest Film Festival and I was really excited because we've never done an Oscar party with our magazine so it turned out to be a win-win for all we um, have great sponsors great event and we're just excited about the Oscars tonight yeah. and uh, can you tell us a little bit about your company from Triviere yeah so I'm the head of Cultura PR International and I work with uh, mostly international entertainment and lifestyle clients and together with my partner Gotham Channa we do um, digital marketing PR and we do events all around the world have clients from all around the world and it's kind of just growing and growing and I hear you're doing something special for Ukraine tonight. Yes, we partnered with Di Fiore New York, and that is um, a scarf designer, um, Italian silk scarves that is a sunflower motif, and we partnered with them, the French Riviera Film Festival, um, because sunflowers are the official flower of Ukraine, and $30 from every scarf she sells will go to the people of Ukraine. So, yeah. That's beautiful, really needed right now. Yes. So, um, yeah, and we'll put that information up uh, so that people can get the information of how to order a scarf. Great. Thank you, Jackie. Okay, thank Thanks. you. Have a great time. Thank you.